The first decade of the 20th century is arguably one of the most important eras of the automotive evolution. For the first time, cars started getting the shape of what we call modern cars these days. Instead of resembling horse-drawn carriages, cars started to look attractive with comfort and aerodynamics in mind. Moreover, these are the years of the first mass production cars, and at the same time, the years of technical solutions that would remain in use up to these days. Moreover, even the first hybrid car was introduced at about the same time. This is the era of automotive legends, so stay with us as we are about to check the top 10 iconic cars of the early 1900s. Number 10, Mercedes Simplex 60 HP. Before merging with Benz to form one of the most important car companies in automotive history, Mercedes was doing things on its own. More precisely, it was produced by Daimler Motorin Gesellschaft, which gave us so many memorable models that it was really hard to pick just one for this list. Eventually, we picked the Mercedes Simplex 60 HP, which was introduced in 1903 and produced for just a couple of years. However, the importance of this model is significant because this was actually the first luxury-oriented model from a company that would eventually become a gold standard among premium car makers. It was available in two body styles, both as a two- and four-seater. The 60 HP wasn't just luxurious, but also pretty advanced, with a low-pressed steel chassis and a pretty capable 9.3-liter four-cylinder engine that was coupled with a four-speed manual transmission. The power was sent to the rear wheels and these 60 ponies were enough to ensure a top speed of 68 miles per hour. Number 9. Oldsmobile Curved Dash The curved dash was anything but a technologically advanced car back in the day, but it was still one of the most important cars of the decade. It was a Model T before Model T, because it was the first mass production car in the world. At the time this model was released, and that was in 1901, this was pretty much the only car that wasn't designed for the upper class. No, it was designed for the masses. The car by itself was pretty conventional. Some would even say it was outdated. It featured a runabout design and a steering lever instead of a wheel, which was already becoming a standard back in the day. Equipped with a modest 1.6-liter single-cylinder engine that featured no more than 5 horsepower, the curved dash featured a planetary transmission with just two gears and a reverse. So, what actually made this car special was its popularity. For seven years of production, the company sold over 19,000 units. And with such a high demand, it's not a surprise that this was actually the first ever car that was produced on a genuine factory line using interchangeable parts. Number 8. Panhard at Levasseur 50 HP Type Q Younger generations probably don't have a clue, but this was the most renowned car maker in the first decade of the 20th century. It was pretty much a Rolls-Royce before Rolls-Royce and the 50 HP Type Q was the flagship model. It was so prestigious that the list of buyers included names like King Alfonso XIII of Spain and Chevalier René de Nif. It was so exclusive that only 79 examples were made, and just a couple of them still exist today. The 50 GP Type Q wasn't just super luxurious and gorgeous looking, it was also a technologically advanced car. This company was the first one to offer a front engine slash rear wheel drive layout. And in the case of this particular model, 63 horsepower were coming from a 10.6 liter inline four engine paired with a four speed automatic transmission, which was sending power to the rear wheels via a couple of chains. Interestingly, the chassis was made of wood, though supported by steel plates. Number 7. Delaunay Belleville F6 Many experts agree that the first couple of decades of the 20th century were the peak of the French automotive industry. Some of the most prestigious car companies were located in this part of the world, and among them, Delaunay Belleville was probably the most desirable. This was the flagship model, the first one with six cylinders, and it was pretty much an integral part of royal fleets across the old continent. King George I of Greece had one of these, just like King Alfonso XIII of Spain. But they were no match for Tsar Nicholas II, as the Russian royal family possessed more than 40 vehicles produced by this company. The F6 was the first ever car from France to use a six-cylinder engine. The engine was coupled with a four-speed manual transmission, but smooth ride and filigree precision 
weren't the only strengths of this vehicle. The car was absolutely gorgeous, one of the best looking cars of the era, number six, Packard 4. Packard 4 was the model that established Packard as a luxury car maker, a company that would also become famous for the production of super capable aircraft engines. With this particular model, things were pretty clear. It was imagined as a luxury vehicle, so the King of Belgium tonneau body style was a perfect fit. It was a gorgeous looking car, equipped with a steering system that included ball bearings instead of roller types. The car featured a ladder frame with leaf springs on both ends, while the mechanical rear brakes were on the rear wheels only. As for the engine, we saw several units installed in this model, which was produced between 1903 and 1912, ranging from four to seven liters. What's more impressive and what really sets apart this car from the crowd is the fact that this was one of the first models to use shaft drive instead of double chain drive. Number five, Loner Porsche Hybrid. When we say that someone or something was ahead of time, we usually don't think of a time period of 120 years unless we are talking about Ferdinand Porsche and all those amazing technical solutions he left us. Well, one of them was the Loner Porsche Hybrid, the first ever hybrid car produced 97 years before Toyota Prius was launched. From today's perspective, the general idea was brilliant as this car used two in-wheel electric motors, which were supplied with power via a single-cylinder gasoline engine. Practically, that is the way Nissan's e-power technology works these days, 120 years later. The system output was rated at 14 horsepower, which was enough to ensure a top speed of 36 miles per hour. The car was produced between 1900 and 1905. Number four, Mercedes 35 HP. Introduced in 1901, the 35 HP is widely considered the first modern car, and the reason is obvious. This was the first car that didn't look like a modified stagecoach, and that was arguably one of the most radical changes we've seen in the history of the automotive industry. The vehicle was much closer to the ground, with a larger and wider body compared to competitors. Moreover, the chassis was made of tailored steel and it was characterized by impressive torsional rigidity. If add to this a capable 5.9 liter inline four engine with 35 horsepower, it's no surprise that this was the fastest car of its time. Another big novelty was the cooling system, patented by Daimler just a few years before. The honeycomb radiator, assisted by a fan, is pretty much the same setup we are seeing in modern day cars. Number three, Blitz and Benz. Even before Mercedes and Benz merged into one of the most important car makers of all time, the two companies had some glorious days. While Mercedes was producing both luxury and race cars, Benz was pretty much all about performance. The company eventually came to an idea to create a car that would break all speed records, and that model got quite an appropriate name, Blitzen Benz. The car was impressive in every aspect, starting from the monstrous 21.5 liter inline four engine. The initial version featured 184 horsepower, but the max output was increased to 200 horses soon after. At the same time, the car was compact and light. It was meant to set new records. It was the first car to achieve an average speed of over 200 kilometers per hour over a kilometer. Eventually, in 1909, Bob Burnham set a new record at Daytona Beach. With an average speed of 228.1 kilometers per hour, or 141.7 miles per hour over a mile, a record that would remain unbroken for the next 10 years. Number two, Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. The first time we ever heard that famous phrase that Rolls-Royce makes the best car in the world was right after the launch of the Silver Ghost. The nameplate came to as an idea to emphasize the model's refinement mainly the super smooth and quiet inline six engine, but the Silver Ghost turned out to be much more than that. It would eventually become one of the most iconic monikers in the automotive world. The car was quiet and refined. It was super luxurious. However, that's not what made it legendary. Believe it or not, it was reliability. Back in the day, cars were extremely unreliable and the Silver Ghost was the first ever car to complete Scottish reliability trials without major issues. Eventually, a 15,000 mile test was conducted, which included driving between Glasgow and London 27 times. Number one, Ford Model T. 
Okay, this one was easy, because everyone knows that the Model T is the most important car model of all time. It's practically impossible to measure the real value of this model, because the Model T's heritage isn't about technological innovation and things like that. It is about mass production, about the middle class, and giving it a chance to enjoy the benefits of motorization. And yes, the Model T indeed motorized North America, as well as the rest of the world. Even today, the Model T is on the list of 10 best-selling cars of all time, with more than 16 million units produced between 1908 and 1927. The secret of Model T's success is affordability, which was achieved with a straightforward design. This was the first honest car, without any pretensions to be luxurious or prestigious in any other way. The 2.9-liter 20-horsepower engine was small and simple, the two-speed transmission was even simpler, and the semi-elliptical springs were a perfect measure for a good balance between comfort and handling. Finally, the Model T was offered in a variety of body styles, including a pickup truck called TT, which can be considered a distant ancestor of another blue oval icon, the F-Series pickup. Do you agree with our list? Is there a legend that's missing? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe, as more videos like this are coming soon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.